At this time, we have a moment of silence. Thank you. We'll ask um, Councilman Brad Hampton to please the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before we start, Councilman, remember we need to talk about we're not recording this tonight. Uh, as at this time, uh, Madam Clerk, we have roll call, please. Mr. Allen? Here. Mrs. Wilkins Brent? Here. Mrs. Clifton Conway? Here. Mrs. Hamer? Present. Mr. Hampton? Here. Mr. Showalter? Here. Mr. Stump? Here. Mrs. Sackett? Here. Uh, you, can I get a motion to approve the minutes of the last meeting? Motion made. Motion made by Ms. Packett? Second. Second made by Mr. Hampton. Are there further questions and or comments? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed say likewise. Let the record reflect that the motion has passed. You should have received the check registry. If you have received that, please raise your hand. Let the record reflect that all members of the council received it. At this time, we have public comments. A reminder, this is four minutes. Uh, when you come up and please uh, just talk loud and state your business. And once again, this is not a question and answer. And at the end of four minutes, there will be time. And Madam Clerk will let you know when your time is up. Nobody signed up, okay? All right. We have next the event applications. We have the <clears throat> A, we have Transform Scott County Annual Celebration. Good evening, City Council. Um, so we are requesting a closure of Main Street from North, Ham North Broadway to Hamilton. Um, so historically, Transform Scott County does an annual celebration every year. And this year, we wanted to make it more of a um, family friendly event and so we wanted to do it downtown Georgetown what better place to do it when we talk about transforming Scott County um, and so that's what our request is that request is for 8-23-2024 from 4 p.m. to 9 30 p.m. Um, we will be hosting a concert downtown um, and that would be what we are hoping to accomplish um, as well bringing awareness to our poverty mediation program um, and youth mentoring as well. Do we have a motion? Motion made by Ms. Brent. Second. Second made by Ms. Tackett. <clears throat> Are there further questions and or comments? I've got a question. Mm -hmm. uh, so the activity starts at 6 and the setup time is at 4. Yes. Two hours for setup? That's because we will have a stage and we will also be um, having a silent options area for that. And we'll also have a table set up where we will have um, testimonies from the individuals that we serve. So we wanted to make sure that we had plenty of time to be able to set those eagles up with the display and everything. So that's why we have requested two hours for the stage, for the band to get set up, and for everything, just to allow some extra space in there for them. What time do the fans start? The fans will be starting right at 6. That's good. Yeah. And we hope to be done. We put 9.30 on there. Uh, we hope to be done by 8.30, but we wanted to get plenty of time for cleanup. So. Question there? Yes. Um, you're going to be sitting up in Court Street right now, right? That's where you're going to be blocking everything off? Yes. Main, yeah. Main Street, North Broadway, yeah. Okay. Are there further questions? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 <clears throat> those opposed say likewise. Let the record reflect that the uh, motion passed. Thank Next, you. we have the Horsey 100. Me. So, I think you all have a copy of the rest And I am going to defer to Chief. Um, oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> you scared me, Chief Almond. I was worried. I told you I needed you today. <laughs> He's been working with 
course, Stephen Hundred with uh, Dwayne on, Edwayne Edwards on, all the things that people need as far as support for police. So I didn't want to give that summary. I thought he might be a little better at it. <laughs> sure. Uh, so she said the wrap has changed a little bit. Uh, for Saturday, May the 25th, uh, we basically will be needed for the morning hours. Uh, officers, the event will start at 7. Um, the cyclists will need assistance turning left on the Carbon Drive um, on the Long Lake Road and pretty much for the rest of the day. The routes and stuff will take uh, place outside of the city jurisdiction, so we'll just help them there. It's not too big of an issue for us. And Sunday, the 26th, starting at 7 o'clock, uh, we will help the cyclists enter onto Cincinnati Pike. Uh, we'll make a left turn. Uh, they'll come down and make a left turn. Uh, on Main Street, off of Broadway, and they'll continue out uh, past Hamilton, Washington, out in Cleveland Circle, um, all the way up to Crumball. We'll have officers at uh, pretty much the main intersections, such as Cincinnati Pike, uh, Broadway, we'll have them at Broadway and Main, Main and Hamilton, Paris Pike in Washington, and Paris Pike in Cleveland. Probably have two officers there because it's a bigger intersection. And then we'll still have uh, probably an officer or two to monitor it, make sure they're out safe. And we're talking to uh, Dwayne Edwards, you know, the main concern is getting the biggest group outside of the city. And of course, when they're coming back in, uh, they're coming in through um, Lemons Mill, Clayton, and that way. So we'll do like we have in the past. We may work with them and get a sign, uh, letting everybody know, or we may uh, put an officer there to. There's lights on monitoring that intersection. But there's no roads are being closed, correct? Correct. No, they did a good job of not yeah. closing them when we don't have to. Motion made. Motion made by Mr. Allen. Second. Second made by Mr. Hampton. Are there further questions and or comments? Those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed say likewise. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. <clears throat> comments have just have a few. Uh, one is to see that the uh, executive order approving the appointment of Jessica Norris can't go to uh, planning commission. Just want to re uh, remind you or kind of go back a little bit on this. Uh, this this vacancy occurred when uh, Shirley, who used to be on the uh, planning commission, uh, took the position as the planner for the Georgetown Scott County planning zone. So that, that's the vacancy. So we're trying to fill that vacancy up uh, at this time. I sent you her resume and information on her. So do I have a motion to accept? Motion made. The motion is made by Ms. Tackett. Do I have a second? Second. Second made by Ms. Hampton, Ms. Hamrick, excuse me. Are there further questions and or comments? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed say likewise. <coughs> Let the record reflect the motion has passed. Uh, also, we need a motion to cancel the meeting for Monday, May the 27th, 2024. Uh, that is uh, Memorial Day weekend, and that is a holiday. So do I have a motion? I have a motion. Motion made by Mrs. Brent. Do I have a second? Second made by Mr. Allen. Are there further questions and or comments? <clears throat> All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed say likewise. Let the record reflect that the motion passed. We will uh, send out some dates and when we can get everybody here for a call at a later time. All right? Uh, this Friday at uh, 1, 1 p.m. Uh, the Main Street Clean Sweep program. This is open to the public as well as the council members and so on. We will provide the, uh, the gloves and bags. And what we do is we go downtown and clean up. That's what we do. So that's, we're going to meet at the courthouse and then we'll go from there. So if you're interested and you want to take part in that, uh, you know, just let me know or let me know. If not, just show up and uh, we'll put you to work. All right. Uh, an update on the street lights on the state roads are being installed, so that's good news. There you go. Uh, the budget work session will be this uh, Thursday at 4 p.m. 
and this courthouse room. So I uh, want to remind you of that. So for me, that's all I have on my agenda here. Moving right on. Uh, council committee meetings, reports. Uh, we have police and finance today. So police. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, we met April 1st, the meeting was called to order at 9.02 a.m. Present was Mayor Jenkins, City Attorney Emily Buckman, CAO Devin Dalton, Council Members Hambrick and Stone, and Captain Nick Lowell. Uh, minutes were approved, um, discussed staffing and recruiting. Um, we just lost our last female patrol officer to Lexington Police Department, but we're looking at others. Uh, to hire, uh, currently have two um, certified officers that are in the process with Megan Miller. Once they're approved past Megan, then they will be set for a hiring date. Currently at 69 out of 71 officers. Um, and we have current openings are two SROs, one part-time and two full-time positions. Um, Captain Lowell provided us with the packet for the police department budget request and justification. Um, five, the request for five new officers equipment and other needs um, were in that packet. Uh, we discussed body cameras uh, because it keeps getting pushed off. Uh, the updated quote is now for five years is now $800,000. Police department, uh, everyone involved really wants this to occur. Um, the civilian position is advertised and they currently have eight applicants. Um, they will have to learn about the confidentiality and open records uh, request laws from City Attorney Emily Budrum. And uh, they're going to cross train the records clerk as an evidence technician and evidence technician will cross train on the body cameras. Um, we discussed the traffic unit. Uh, we currently have nine officers that have applied and that the oral boards will take care, take place in mid to <coughs> late April. Um, general discussion, um, Captain Logan has been accepted to the FBI National Academy. Once he completes that, then we'll have the Chief, Assistant Chief, and Captain Logan will, will all be uh, graduates of that, which will be a very high honor. Uh, also, the Police Department and the Mayor will be meeting with the Housing Authority. And the meeting was adjourned. All right. Next is finance. Um, just we met the, uh, last Monday on the first, uh, just a very high level. Uh, we talked, we were presented with the first draft of the budget for uh, for next year, and we will have the budget session on uh, Thursday, the 11th, at from four to six in this uh, room here. So um, we'll have uh, the first presentation of that to the full council, and we'll be able to take a look at it and. Any questions and, and comments for Stacy and the mayor and department heads? So. All right. Anything else? <coughs> Thank you, gentlemen, ladies. All right. At this time, coming up, um, we have number nine. We have <coughs> GMWSS. We have Chase to come up. And we're going to talk about A, which is the, the Brentag Mid South Incorporated of $11,205. Thank you, Mayor. Um, as you said, $11,205, that is for purchase of a four-week supply of sodium hydrochloric, which is a primary disinfectant of water treatment plant. This is purchased through our annual unit price uh, contract that is bid. Um, this is for chemicals, parts, and materials. And so this is a recurring budgeted purchase uh, water treatment plant operations budget. Do I have a motion? Motion, Mayor. Motion is made by Mr. Allen. We have a second. Uh, Ms. Conway, are there further questions and or comments? Mm -hmm. Just one question. Chase, how are we seeing prices right now? Better than 18 months ago. Um, we're still doing a lot of calling around checking versus just going straight to the unit price contract that's bid. 
we see something that's better, we will obviously take it. And if we see something that, uh, that, that they will honor as being a price and it's the lowest, that's what we'll go with. Thank you. Good. Hey, no further, further questions or comments. All those in favor of motion signify, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed say likewise. B, uh, SSE Hazen contract amendment number four for $157,876. Oh, uh, refresh everybody's memory. Last council meeting, we took a very deep dive. I appreciate the, the time you all allowed me at the podium to talk about where we are in the South Sewer contract, wrapping that project up, but we are good news that we are under budget. And we talked about the remaining action items that have to come before the council and the board of commissioners. And the, the first item is, is item D that is on your agenda. Uh, I have the presentation, but we don't have um, AV services tonight. So if we need to jump back into the financials or any, any questions on, the, on these three items, I'll, I'll just have to shuffle through my papers and talk about the answer, but um, prepared to, to answer any, any further questions after after what we did two weeks ago. But this is the, the first of three that we're asking you to consider tonight, and this is for additional engineering service, just at a high level, additional engineering services that pays in for expanded scope of services. They've been doing uh, a number of months of work past their contractual and uh, obligation on scope and schedule, and they'll probably be doing another three to six months so, of work to help wrap this up for construction admin and resident inspection. That's what this contract amendment is for, um, $157,876. Motion made. Uh, motion's made by Ms. Tackett. Do I have a second? I'll second. Second made by Ms. Brent. Uh, are there further questions and or comments? All those in favor of motion of facing contract amendment number four for $157,876, set a five by saying aye. 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 Those opposed say likewise. All right, next is C, is SSE, our contract incorporated, change order number five for $726,171.15. Thank you, Mayor. Um, again, went over this in depth two weeks ago, and this just at high level again, this is for a change in scope, an increase in scope in pavement restoration um, uh, services from the contractor, but we're going from what was contractual to be trench width pavement restoration to a two drive lane restoration throughout the disturbed areas in the mobile home park. And so on your point, I'm pointing out that this, this portion, it is part of the loan, but it is repaid by the owner of the mobile home park. Say it again for Peter once more. This is not paid by the ratepayers. This is funded by Sawyer Point. We have two representatives, AJ uh, Singleton, Mr. Singleton, who had been representing them, could not be here tonight. So um, we have Kurt and Bob here tonight if you have any questions for them. But uh, I'm happy to answer any further questions on, on this change order that is part of, um, part of the construction contract for house there. there you go. Okay. Well, yes, now everybody just jumped on this one time. All right. So, so we'll draw a You have heard you first. So, uh, Ms. Tackett made the motion. You have approved second. Okay. Ms. Hamlet second. Are there further questions and or comments? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, Chase, uh, you know, start out with thank you very much for explaining it to the council how this is going to work. And we do, I do appreciate that. You know, the rest of the council does. Uh, with this motion, you know, last yeah, at our last meeting, I, you know, I was like, I'm not ready to vote on this. You know, I, I, I've studied this and gone through it, and I understand the need, you know, to get this done. And if we're going to have a motion, I would really, really like the motion to contain a contingency in it that we do not issue the contract change until we have a bond in place, if that's possible. So we have, uh, actually I traded uh, some communications with Mr. Singleton last week, late last week, and um, the bond is the payment default bond that is kind of an insur 
reference policy for the city and the utility <coughs> that is spelled out clearly within the user agreement. The, uh, I believe the language is, as Mr. Singleton and I were going through that, is it substantial completion, the city and the utility um, give Sawyer Point notification, uh, and then it has to be supplied within 60 days of that notification. Um, we have not, I know that we've traded emails and communications related that the flow, when the flow is taken off um, the package treatment plants and when the, um, we started receiving the flow, I don't know if there was a formal, um, just looking back at, I do not know if there was, I do not believe there was a formal letter from the city to Sawyer Point saying, hey, we've reached substantial completion in the six days this started. Is that, I believe that's what, I don't think that you all received that. So, um, depending on their schedule, I don't know the timing on, I know that Mr. Singleton said they've started looking into the payment default bond. I think part of it was they wanted to see whether the change order was um, approved or not, so they knew the exact amount as of today, knowing that when we close the project out through a final adjusting, uh, change order for all of the expenses at the end, we'll probably have to adjust that again as we will with all the financials, but um, I think that we just have to look at that um, contract, the user agreement contract language, a 60 day period, and then um, if we wanted, if, depending on how quickly Sawyer Point could get that to us, and then when we can get with the contractor and say, when those pavement plants open back up, I think all of that can line up, but I, I'm just putting that out there that I do think we have passed substantial completion, but I don't think that communication so we, uh, was, was sent. So I don't think, we do not have the bond in hand as of today, but um, that is kind of spelled out in the user agreement, and I think we can, we can figure that out uh, upon approval of yeah, the- Can I speak? Yes, yep. I think we can, I was saying, I think we can work that out. I represent a uh, mobile home park owner. So the reason why there's no bond is because the bond bonding company is going to want the amount that they're going to bond. And without a change order being approved, we don't know what the amount of the bond is going to be. So it's kind of like putting the cart before the horse. But as Chase mentioned, the user agreement does talk about the owner being responsible in the contract language for providing an insurance bond. And the owners have not, to this point, shown any indication that they are going to do what they said they're going to do. As a matter of fact, they're trying to make it a much better community to live in. And so the last thing they want to do is default and have a problem with the city because they didn't issue the bond. So that's the reason why there's no bond yet. But my, uh, uh, my the mobile home park owner is, uh, more than willing to issue a bond. We have all the attention to that. Thank you. All right, are there any other questions? Yes, sir. Uh, Chase, and just to, I know we hashed this in <coughs> I know that this is using public funds on private property, which for years and years is a big no no. But you have reached out through KIA and they did approve this and said that there is no conflict on this, is correct? I'll, I'll answer that in two parts. One is looking at the whole project. Um, one of the largest chunks of this is replacing the sewer on private property. Right. Um, that does become public sewer that we take ownership of. That's how this is structured. Um, as presented at the last meeting, the exact language that was within the PowerPoint presentation, that was a word for word excerpt from written communication from Kentucky Infrastructure Authority saying that the work in the change of scope and change order number five is a approved use of money. So there's no conflict that everybody's on board with this? Yes, sir. Including yes, Frankfurt. sir, there is no conflict. Okay, including Frankfurt. So. If Frankfurt, you're meaning Kentucky Infrastructure yes. Authority, yes, they have, okay. They, okay. Uh, have given that uh, in writing. Okay. Are there further questions? Yeah, this is a quick comment, I guess. Must, I think my struggle has been of what some others have kind of dealt with, but I appreciate you guys going back and connecting the insurance bond to ensure that the city doesn't carry part of it. So, that's 
reason. So at this time, I'm going to ask uh, if there are further questions or comments. At this time, I'm going to ask uh, Madam Clerk, we're going to have a roll call vote on this. Next, we have E, which is uh, SSE Power Contract Incorporated, change order number six for $313,298.91. This was the last change order that I presented on, and this was this was part of the contract that is borne by Georgetown Municipal. This is for some miscellaneous expenses that we have seen um, to, from now to the finish of the project completion. The majority of this, as I showed you a picture, or a few pictures and some video, was the unexpected dewatering costs of keeping these trenches pumped down as ground, from groundwater so they can actually do the work. Some of that is always to be expected. I've never seen it like this on the on a, on a contract that part of the change order started at just under $500,000 was requested in additional funds. That was negotiated down to $200,000, which is the lion's share of this change order. Other parts are um, some additional connections, some additional valves, fencing and a, a fencing replacement and new fencing, and then a new pump station cover for one of the other system stations that had to have modifications to make all these hydraulics work. This is still, this is a not to exceed number of $313,298.91. I'm actually working to negotiate this down, but so we can go ahead and get started on part of this. Um, it would not exceed that number. I think it'll come in lower. All right. <clears throat> you, you have a motion made by Mr. Allen. Do I have a second? Second. Second made by Mr. Um, Tackett. Uh, are there further questions and or comments? The motion is made for the SSE Powell Contract Incorporated change order number six for three hundred thirteen thousand two hundred ninety-eight dollars and ninety-one cents. All those in favor, of motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, say likewise. Let the record reflect that the motion passed. Next item number ten, Chief Administrative Officer A, municipal order approving an amendment to the South Sewer. Extension user agreement. I know these items are in your packet again, but this was a portion of Chase's presentation at the last meeting, um, acknowledging that if the pavement chain order were to be approved, um, and actually the, the subsequent change order six as well, we have to adjust a number of things in the user agreement. Um, tip, uh, most importantly, the amount that the owner of the property is, is owing under the KIA loan. So obviously, as we mentioned, that, that portion of, of the change order is being attributed to their, their costs under the user agreement, so we have to change it to reflect that. But we also have the opportunity to acknowledge the, the new ownership and make some of those cleanup changes. So all those changes are reflected, um, red lines and, and the like, in the user agreement, and there will be um, a formal amendment agreement that will be passed by the city, Georgetown Municipal, and then signed by all three parties. Motion. A motion is made by Ms. Tackett. Do I have a second? Second. Second is made by Ms. Hambrick. Are there further questions and or comments? All those in favor of the municipal order approving an amendment to the South Sewer Extension User Agreement signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed say likewise. No. I don't think I have to abstain from the change order. Is that correct? So we uh, motion 
passed. Next, we have the second reading of the ordinance correcting street name, Buffalo Spring Trail. Sponsors Noel Emmerich and Connie Tackett. An ordinance correcting the street name of Buffalo Springs Trail to Buffalo Spring Trail is the official city street map. Summary one, renamed to Buffalo Springs Trail to Buffalo Spring Trail to match the street name as recorded in flat book CAD 5, page 1723 in the land records of the Scott County City. Two, provides for appeal of inconsistent ordinances, several located provisions, and an effective date on passage of publication. The full text of this ordinance is available for examination with the clerk's office, 629 North Broadway, Georgetown, Kentucky, 40324, or at www.georgetownky.gov. Introduced to public read the first time, March 25th, 2024. Public to read the second time, April 8th, 2024. I have a motion to have Ms. Tackett to have a second. Second made by Ms. Brent. Are there further questions and or comments? At this time, Madam Clerk, we have a roll call. Mr. Allen? Yes. Mrs. Wilkins Brent? Yes. Mrs. Butcher Tama? Yes. Mrs. Hamburg? Yes. Mr. Hampton? Yes. Mr. Showalter? Yes. Mr. Stone? Yes. Mrs. Sack? Yes. Just to record reflect that the second reading of the ordinance correctly the street name Buffalo Spring Trail. Punches Will Hamrick and Connie Turner passed. Next, item number 11 of finance is uh, missile order closing out a certificate of deposit uh, at Stark Bank. Ms. Casey? Uh, yes, um, as we talked about at the finance committee, we're just closing out some of these smaller cities that we've had for years so that we can make more intentional, larger investments. So, this is just part of that process. Continuing to clean that up, it will be deposited into the money market account at Central Bank, and then uh, hopefully right after the budget's passed, we'll be talking about some more, not passed, but after I finish the budget, it's ready for presentation, we'll talk about some more uh, larger investments as well, and then of course I'll give you a quarterly finance update and investment update at the next meeting in April. Do you have a motion? Motion made. Motion made by Mr. Hampton, second by Mr. Allen. Are there any <coughs> questions and or comments? All those in favor of the motion, the municipal order closing out a certificate of deposit at Starkville Bank, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed say likewise. Thank you all. Let the record reflect the motion passed. At this time, we have council comment. Mr. Stone? I'm good, thank you, sir. Mr. Allen? Uh, man, we talked last week about Republic questions and responses. I will get that to you. Yeah, no, I have not, okay. and I will get that to you. Mm -hmm. That's on me. And then any uh, update on the regional industrial park? And, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I will let you know that I will get that information to you all. We are now finalizing that, and we're going to get that out to the council as well as the public. So, that's all there. Oh, one other thing. Uh, I did see a trash pickup Monday, and there was trash around the trash can. And when they picked up the can, of course, all the trash stayed on the ground. So I took this picture and I'll have some documentation. If you get a call that they didn't pick it up, it was going to trash it out of the yard. Okay. Thank you. I'll send it to you. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Tech? I'm good, Mayor. Thank you. Ms. Conway? I'm good, too, except I hope that ticket, like you said, that sticker goes on the trash can for information to wrap it up. All right. Ms. Brett? <coughs> I just want to say thank you to the Ashton Grove Assistant Living Facility. They had a, for the community, they had kids up for Easter egg hunt. I just want to thank the activity director there and all the workers that go to those areas where you know, the kids and community can come up there. That's all I have. Ms. Harris. Yes. I've had a couple of people call me and say that they have had the stickers or the little door hangers put on their door, but they feel like they've already filled out the mitigation questionnaire online. And so they're wondering, do they have to, did that not get recorded? Do they have to contact the water company? They're, they're confused because they felt like they've completed it, but they're still getting the door hanger. So if somebody could clarify that yes, so that I, I can clarify them. I would ask them to look into that, yes ma'am. Um, since we know that that deadline's coming up pretty soon. Um, also, 
I've had a couple of people concerned, especially with summer coming up, about the crumbling green home behind the, the old jail. So if we could have an update, I know that we yes. own that, yeah. but it's increasingly right. in bad shape. I think we have the possibility of selling it, so an mm. update on that. We will give you an update then. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And thank you to the museum for the 50th year um, anniversary of the tornado that wiped out Stamping Ground. It's a great um, testament to a lot of hard work, especially with the Stamping Ground elementary students. If you get a chance to go down there, it's uh, going to be up through most of the summer, I believe. So, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Hampton? I'm good. <clears throat> sure. Uh, three items, two of which were brought up earlier in this meeting. That's trying to get clarification on. So in the police committee meeting, the, the body cameras were, what was the cost that you said over a four or five Over a five year period, it's going up to 800,000. But that's going up to, it wasn't there, so. <laughs> uh, the cost is going up because they're going to get enough for all the officers, plus they're going to get a couple of spares and all the contracts, and they're the the same models that the sheriff's office has, so that they will communicate with each other. And the Commonwealth Attorneys and the County Attorney's Office has the programming, so all they have to do is pull it up. It's <laughs> it's not having two different systems and, and jumping back and forth as we've had in the past. Okay. Second, second item. Thank you. Thanks. Second item. Um, you mentioned in the mayor comments about the street lights that are going up. Mm -hmm. And I know we had a gentleman here at our last meeting in the public comments mm -hmm. that was specifically talking about Paris Pike. Yeah, yeah, those are the street yeah, farm. Those are the ones going up. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I've noticed over the past week, the two, well, a week, a week and a half, that there are several new lights that are up right. between Wendy's on Paris Pike going out towards the Crumball. Are all of those lights up, or will there be additional lights that are going to go up? Because there's still a couple intersections that are. Let me bring Andy up here. Andy? Yeah, there's some. Thank you. Down there. Um, basically, every intersection from Wendy's on out to um, the last road is Crumball, up here the last road. Um, each intersection gets new lights. As part of the streetlight by state road okay. project, I got a complete list. I could, uh, if I send it to the mayor, he could forward it to you. And it shows all the um, intersections by name. There's, there's a list of, oh, it's about 11 different intersections around the town, most of which are on the 460 corridor um, that are all getting new lights. And that's the one that got delayed due to the metal pole switch. Um, and, but now they're in and they're putting in. So finally, we're getting them. Mayor, can, can we get that list? Yes, I will. I'm, I'm, okay, Tracy, please make a note there to remind me to do that, and I'll get that out to you right. by email. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Or last time, I had a person call me at lunchtime today <laughs> that said they witnessed two cars, one coming up the, the hill here, uh, City Hall, coming up the hill towards the square, and one turning off of Broadway, coming in this direction. And I've noticed that there are signs on, I didn't know if somebody can look at that. Because um, when you're coming from North Broadway towards town, unless I missed it, I didn't see a one-way sign in that direction. But you can see it going north. So I didn't know if somebody can at least look at that. To, uh, person was really concerned, more, more so coming this direction than up the hill. They caught them off guard both cases. I, anyway, I want to see something to look at that. I will have to look at that and go check it out and report back to you. And that's it. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, all right. So if there's no other further business, don't for this council, this meeting, and thank you. Thank you.